Hey everybody. Um, here's the breakdown of this cooler I made. Um, this here is a 12 volt power supply. Actually it's 12 volt 5 amps. Um, I'm recycling this off of old laptop. What I did was I cut the plug end off and then I wired everything into it and then hooked up a little uh, terminal board so I can have uh, all my connectors connect into it. All right, uh, so this is replacing the uh, solar panel for now. This here is my cooler unit. All this was, was a, uh, I recycled a um, heat sink off a desktop computer. And uh, I sandwiched my Paltier chip in between that and a water block. Here's the chip. Here's what the chip looks like. There's the number, see? Thermoelectric cooler. And what happens is when you energize it, one side gets hot and the other side gets ice cold. This is the ice cold side. So this is what what's chilling our water. Um, well, this is 12 volt. So when you guys do this, if you're going to recycle, make sure these fans are 12 volt. Because they do put 5 volt fans in and uh, they don't work too good. Alright? So there's that. Oh, and these chips, I got these on Amazon. Um, I bought five of them for like 15 bucks. It was free shipping, so they're pretty cheap. Um, again, here's another heat sink. I just re reusing it from an old computer, and these work great. Um, that there, that's my little pump. This thing here is a powerhouse. It's 12 volt. Compare that. To that. I mean, there's a big difference. And this thing almost does just as much work as this big one does. It takes up less power and hardly use up any amps on it either. So that's a big plus. And you are also going to need thermal paste. Uh, what that does is you're going to put it on the hot side so that way it sits up against this and helps the heat evaporate through this uh, through the heat sink. Alright? Um, and just the tubing. So basically all this stuff here <clears throat> you can purchase on Amazon. Um, probably your total cost is going to be about 50 bucks. Um, as far as size cooler that it's going to cool, I'm using a uh, Coleman cooler and it's a uh, it holds 12 gallons so I mean I can cool down 12 gallons I don't know how much bigger you can go with it um, but I mean if you guys want to try it try it I'm just using these for my garden towers um, actually what I'm going to do, end up redoing is replacing this with one of these pumps so everything can run on a solar panel um, that way I don't have to worry about electricity whatsoever and this can be a self-sufficient unit all I have to do is just throw it out in the middle of the yard and let it do its thing but um I mean, this is it. I mean, it's really not many parts you need to put one of these together. Now, I've seen these units, but a different setup where they're actually using them for like refrigeration. Um, it actually has two heat sinks on it with two fans. So one's blowing out the hot and the other one's blowing the cold. Um, that would not work for what I'm doing. So that's why I made my own unit. And it seems like it worked pretty good. Now, how I connected it was I actually uh, drilled and tapped it and I ran stainless steel screws. Make sure you use stainless steel screws, guys, because if you don't, uh, they're going to rust on you because this is going to be in order the whole time. So, uh, that's what you need to do. But a lot of this stuff here, um, it's mostly computer parts that I've recycled. Um, all except, well, even the pump. This is for a water-cooled uh, computer system. Um, the heat sinks from a computer, the, the uh, water blocks for a computer system too. These are CPU coolers. If you look them up on Amazon, they're called CPU coolers. All right, and it should come with a fan too. And you make sure they're 12 volt. But basically, this is it, guys. I mean, that's all the parts. Um, Put it together, let it run for a day, and you know, you'll see the temperatures drop one.
and you can pretty much maintain the 53 degrees um, if you're using a cooler. Now, insulated coolers, uh, that's, I like using them because you can at least control the temperature somewhat in them. Now, I don't know about these totes that some of you guys use. Um, they might not work as well. Maybe if you buried them in the ground or converted over to a cooler, it might work out better for you. Uh, so you guys might have to try it out and work with it and you know, see what you come with. But I'm just here to show you guys what I did. Um, what you guys do, you know, do it on your own. You don't have to follow my lead. Uh, you know, this is something I wanted to work for myself and put it together and everybody asked about it. So, there it is. Hey, many parts. If you guys have any questions, hit subscribe. Um, I'll answer your questions too. <laughs> so, help you along the way. Tell your friends. Actually, tell all your friends, whoever's in hydroponics, because I'm sure everybody's looking for a fix for the heat, because I know I had problems last year, and I think this is going to be my solution to that problem. And I hopefully it works. I mean, I've tested it for a few weeks now, and it seemed like it's going to work, work out for my application. So, uh, you know, that's why I'm just sharing it with everybody else. All right, so if you guys make one, let me know how it works out for you. If you have any questions, ask. If you like what you see, hit subscribe down below. And uh, I'll talk to you guys later. All right. See you, bye.